a probation violation suite basically. Uh, we were actually assisting on it. Um, he wasn't to, to wasn't allowed to own any animals or, or well not own any animals but to uh, violate any county, local, state, local ordinances, laws, anything like that. So harboring that many dogs was a violation so that's why he went ahead and impounded. Yeah ever since I started I started back in 86 and I remember him being a problem uh, as far back as, as 86. Yeah. Yeah he claims to be a, a rescuer. Uh, but we know he's pretty much a collector. He's, you know, he's not rescuing anything. I mean, as as you saw today, we picked up a couple that are in really sad shape, uh, needed vet treatment really bad, and they weren't getting any type of treatment at all. So, yeah, he's not he's not he's not rescuing anything. We've got neighbors say upwards of 70 dogs. Uh, that's never been verified. I've been out here. I don't know, probably three weeks ago. We counted. We had a head head count of 46. So, you know, give or take. I don't think he. he Historically, he will get 100, 100 plus. If you gave him a couple of months, he would. Uh, I'm sure he'd be in the hundreds, 100 at least. Now we didn't get every dog today. Tell us about how we were able to get the ones that we did, and then some got away. Yeah, there are. As you can see, there's holes in the fences and whatnot. We we're able to confine uh, the majority of them to a house. You know, uh, this is where they live, so that's where they ran. We've got plans to uh, bring up traps. We've got neighbors that are co in cooperation with some neighbors. We're going to start trapping what's left. Uh, frustrations dealing with this particular person? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's never ending. I mean, you know, this is something that uh, that shouldn't happen. Uh, whether they not getting the help they need after they're, you know, after they've con been convicted, I don't know. It's just something, it's just a, it's a cycle. It's going it, to, when, when, when Dave gets out, it's going to happen again. I mean, we just know that. Yes, it's a hands that we feel is the capital of uh, collectors. Um, it is remote. As you can see, the ride up here, extremely remote. We're, in, we're, we're right next to the San Diego County line, so we're as far away as both jurisdictions as you can imagine. Uh, you know, unless you get a neighbor that actually, you know, has a, an issue, then you don't hear you don't hear anything. So, I mean, we I'm sure there's some out there that we don't hear about, but Anza is just known for. We, we've got dozens. Of, we work dozens of cases up here. Just let your head hang down Just another heartbreak going down again Just another heartbreak coming round again Just another heartbreak, this might be the end Just another heartbreak, just another heartbreak Another heartbreak going